Hello and welcome to Starseed Direct Tarot. If this is your first time visiting us, welcome to our channel. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for your love and light and your energy. We appreciate your every like, every share, every subscribe, every comment, and your participation in helping us grow the channel. Thank you so much. This is going to be the year of the ox reading for Aries. Okay, we're going to start off with some fortune cookie messages in regards to what you can expect to transpire in the year of the ox. Okay, this is particularly pertaining to you, Aries. If you were born in the year of the ox, okay, you don't necessarily have to be, but... We'll see what the year of the ox has in store for you, okay? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm. You have achievement. Enjoy the limelight. You've earned it. Although on the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights. You also have reflection friendships in your life may come to an end others could blossom and become stronger and you also have positive work outcome consistent efforts will bring you rewards and a major purchase is worth making all right so let's delve deeper into these year of the ox messages for aries one on achievement I love the way you love me. You may be in a profession that helps people. You could be a doctor, you could be a counselor of sorts. You could be a motivational speaker, take what resonates. But whatever the profession is, this year you'll be receiving accolades and recognition for your work in assisting humanity in some form or fashion. One on reflection, please. Karma will unfold. Now keep in mind, karma is not always negative. You may be petitioned by the divine. Divine may be guiding you to remove certain people out of your inner circle and to make energetic room for people that can actually complement your mission and what you're trying to carry out. So this year, be mindful that your inner circle may change, Aries. One on positive work outcomes. With my whole heart. Whatever you put your heart into, Aries, it's going to work positively for you. So do not be discouraged and do not worry. What may seem as a setback is actually setting you up for your comeback, your bounce back. I'm hearing... Um, the song, the song by uh, Big Sean, um, Bounce Back, okay? There was actually, when I was overseas in China, there was a DJ over there who mixed it with uh, some kind of variant of house or techno music. And let me tell you, that mix was awesome. I listened to it <laughs> at least three times a day. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find that mix again. It was pretty cool. Um, yeah, my mission overseas, a lot of people don't listen to, I mean, I don't want to sound biased, but there's a lot of American artists that don't get exposure overseas. And when I was overseas, um, I worked closely with a, a, a few night spots and um you know my background is in promotions and marketing and i would walk around with a flash stick of american artists and i would ask 
you know, to get exposure. I mean, I wasn't paid to do this, but, you know, some of my favorite music. And I created a lot of friends that way. Music is the universal language. And when you can put somebody on to some music they never heard before, you know, that's helping not only get exposure for that artist, but expressing your way, uh, expressing more about yourself in a way that other people don't know. So even though there was a language uh, barrier there, I was able to connect to people through music. So going back to the year of the ox for Aries, one on achievement, please. Queen of Cups. You may have water in your chart, Aries, or you may be a very loving person. And through you being this loving person, you will achieve a lot of awards and accolades this year in the year of the ox. Karma's in your favor. Reflection. Perhaps through your process of healing through past transgressions or past karmic debt with the karma card, you will be rising in the ranks the more and more you heal from past transgressions okay one on positive work outcomes with my whole heart all right that's too many cards for it. just one please mm. well Spirit says, no, not today. You get two. Positive work outcomes. Here you are showing up in your own reading, Aries. Twice. Okay, so that's confirmation. The Emperor. You are in control of manifesting your reality. And whatever you put your heart into, this is actually something that I stand on wholeheartedly with my whole heart. Whatever I put my heart into is um, going to work in my favor when you put your heart into something it's it's allowing you to manifest something out of nothing and aries you are very good at doing this the magician is both aries energy and so is the emperor and both are ruled by mars you need to try your best to stay in this energy revisit possible um energies that benefit you in achieving this goal okay yeah positive work outcomes as you reflect on maybe past work that you've ever you have already created it may re-spark interest so what i'm visualizing right now is the fountain of youth okay literally i'm visualizing an aries Thank you, Holy Spirit, that the more as you pour into creating this reality for not only yourself and others, you then draw back to your fountain of things that you've already created and transpired. And yet you're able to put a new twist on things and re-inspire a whole new group of people from the same fountain of energy. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is a skill that not many people possess, Aries. And by you doing so, you're not only healing yourself, but you're healing others who are looking upon you with admiration. The star. Mm, beautiful energy. I'm getting chills, Aries. Mm -mm -mm. One on the Queen of Cups. You may be receiving accolades in many different ways with the Seven of Cups. There's a lot of ways you can mix and match here, okay? You are limitless, Aries. And you are able to manifest even the darkest things into positive work outcomes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the Year of the Ox, Aries, you will... Be abundant in your own right. You may be an entrepreneur. You may be very independent. But ultimately, 
you are surrounded by abundance, life, health, and wealth. This is truly your calling in the year of the ox. Okay? You need to reflect on just how abundant you are, Aries, and where you plan to go in the future. Don't hesitate. If you get a good idea, manifest it and work towards speaking. I'm also getting, you could be a public speaker. Or you may do something with your voice. Um, speak life into your situations and watch them grow abundantly, Aries. This is something that we as Aries are very, very good at. We are master manifestors. You could be a master number. Um, 11, 22, 33. Um, you may also be a life path 4 or 1 or 6 or 7 or 8. Thank you, Holy Spirit. What other messages do we have? for Aries in uh, the year of the ox. Mm. The four of pentacles. You may be deciding, Aries, that reflecting on past situations that you've been very giving, you may need to hold some of this energy for yourself. Um, perhaps I'm getting keep four and pass one. So you may have multiple ideas that you are currently trying to germinate in this year. For every four good ideas, you uh, for every five good ideas you come up with, hold on to four of them for yourself, okay? Now is the year, I mean, not that it's a good habit to be, but now is the year, Aries, for you to be a little bit selfish. In the past, you've been very, very giving to multiple cups. You were pouring into multiple people's cups. And this has given you a sense of ranking and achievement by helping others. But now, currently, in the year of the ox, Aries, you need to be a little bit selfish with this fountain of youth that you possess. And it's going to result in positive outcomes for you. Okay. Mm. You got all kinds of cards falling, Aries. Goodness gracious. Let's go to a different deck. Okay, how about that? For Aries. Hmm. Yes, confirming what I said before. Your achievements have come from pouring your love into so many different cups, Aries. You have made a name for yourself by showing appreciation in guiding and helping others through, through past achievements and also assisting others in achieving perhaps their goals that they set for their self. Or maybe shining light on opportunities that people have overlooked for themselves. And this has created a name for you. In the year of the ox, you will receive recognition for all of your past achievements and things that you have poured love and light energy into. As you begin to release and relax into this reflection energy and embody the healing energy, you will see that things will unfold a lot easier than prior years. Most of the, the sewing has been done is what I'm hearing. Thank you, Spirit. The sewing has been done and now 
this year in the year of the ox series it's time for the harvest one on positive work outcomes because you are special you are very special now it's time to look forward this year and manifest your next wish think about what exactly you want to manifest this year Aries and realize that you already have all the tools to manifest this wish recognize that this year is a constant healing process be patient with yourself there may be some things that you want to happen immediately but you need to be patient with yourself there Aries always has a we have a tendency to rush things but ultimately if you're patient with yourself and you just hold these four pentacles in your pocket okay hold them for yourself Aries I almost guarantee you you're gonna thank me later you can still be giving with the page of pentacles you can still offer opportunities to help others but like I said for every five we're in the year of the fives for every five pentacles what for every five seeds you need to keep four for yourself okay pace yourself hmm in recognizing your achievements, Aries, this year and the year of the ox, not only do you need to continue to send love to others and work out of this energy of assisting and helping others by example, but you also need to allow love in because as we continually build on ourselves and others, there are others that divine will send into our life to pour back into us. You need to be mindful of who these people are and recognize them. Be open to receive as you give. It is a cycle, a very healthy cycle. And in doing so, it's going to also help you with reflecting on where you've already been. Thank you, Holy Spirit. All right. So now, let's see what else we can um, pull for you. In the year of the ox, Aries. One on achievement for my Aries, my Ram babies. Ram gang is popping. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> the angel said, we up in here. <laughs> One on achievement, Holy Spirit. Mm. You achieve many great things, Aries, through your heart chakra. You have a big heart, Aries. And this is one of your greatest achievements. Don't ever let someone tell you otherwise. One on reflection. One on reflection. Possibly are in the energy of the mango you want to look up what mangoes signify in um, metaphysical and esoteric means and your answer will be there for healing okay that's all I'm gonna say about that one on positive outcomes for Aries in the year of the ox positive outcomes Holy Spirit Marine, which is our birthstone Aries so you stay true to yourself and realize that you were born in a very special time very specific I'm also sensing that um, you want to look up exactly look deeper into your natal chart and see what placements you have Aries in um, 
to see how this can benefit you. There may be some hidden answers there in regards to this message and how it pertains to your life as an Aries. I'm also getting there's a significance in the time you were born. You might want to look up that number. It may be an angel number, even if it's an off number. Like, for example, I was born at 3.20 a.m., okay? Which, you know, superstition will tell you is witching hour, but I believe truly it has something to do with my gifts. So you want to look up the time you were born. If you don't exactly know, look up your birth certificate. Or you may want to look, ask your mom or ask a relative that may know when you were born. Okay? And what chakra does Aries need to focus on overall? What chakra do we need to keep in tune all chakras need to be in tune, but which one in particular is going to assist us in manifesting these outcomes in the year of the ox? Chakra for Aries, year of the ox. The crown chakra, mm, grace. The grace of a higher power is with me and I move through life knowing this truth. Ooh, look at God. Mm -mm -mm. I believe in a higher power and I know that it is within and around me, offering assistance and guidance. I surrender all my fears and burdens to a higher power. I am open to receive grace and I trust in a higher power. I am worthy. That's what I'm talking about, Aries Gang Gang. So that concludes your Year of the Ox reading. I'm wishing nothing but love, light, and abundance to my fellow Rams. Because we up in here and this is our year. Let's run it.